Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Ammar Shukri here. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're in a great mood. Congratulations on living to experience the 10 days of Dhul Hijjah. That's why you and I both should be in a great mood. These 10 days are the best days of the year. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala swears by them in the Quran. He says, Wal-Fajr wa Layalin Ashr. Allah swears by the 10 days of Dhul Hijjah. And the Prophet وسلم, told us about these 10 days that there are no good deeds that are done that are more beloved to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala than the 10 days that are done in the, t- the good deeds rather that are done in the 10 days of the Hijjah. The Sahaba, they asked Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa and they said, not even jihad in the path of Allah. And he said, not even jihad in the path of Allah, except for a person who goes forward with their wealth and with their self and comes back with neither of them. So this person who does the ultimate sacrifice, other than that, the most beloved actions to Allah are the actions that you and I have the ability to do over these 10 days. So what should we do? Number one, focusing on perfecting the obligatory prayers or the obligatory actions in general. Anything that's obligatory, like the five daily prayers, perfecting them, dutifulness or kindness to your parents, perfecting that, really, really working on that, which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has obligated on you, paying your zakat if you haven't paid it yet, making sure that you knock out and that you perfect the acts of worship that are obligatory on you, and then beyond that, the voluntary actions. So whether it's your salah, praying the sunnah prayers, making sure that you pray the sunnah prayers in the day and the night, praying qiyamul layl, recitation of the Qur'an, whatever your wit is, your daily devotional that you increase it, or maybe even for some, having a goal of reading the Qur'an from cover to cover during these 10 days. Also, beyond that fasting, the Prophet ﷺ would fast during the 10 days of the Hijjah. The only day that you can't fast is on the 10th day. However, on the 9th day, the Prophet ﷺ told us that whoever fasts the ninth day, which is the day of Arafah, and the day of Arafah is a great day. The day of Arafah is the day that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala boasts to the angels about the hujjaj, the pilgrims who are standing on the mountain of Arafah, and he says, Look at my slaves who have come dusty and disheveled. Bear witness, O angels, that I have forgiven them. And that day is the most severe on shaitan because that is the day that Allah frees the most souls from the hellfire. Now, if you're not one of the hujjaj and if you're not at hajj, then fasting the day of Arafah forgives the previous year's sins and the future year's sins. So it is incredibly rewarding. What then do you think about the person also who's not only fasting, but the person who's feeding fasting people? So that's another good deed that a person can do. Also, beyond that, making sure that you are making a lot of dhikr, because dhikr of Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Al-Hajj, وَيَذْكُرُوا اسْمَ اللَّهِ فِي أَيَّامٍ مَعْلُومَاتٍ They remember the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in days that are, are known. And these are talking about the 10 days of the hijjah So making sure that you're making a lot of tasbih, saying subhanallah, a lot of tahmeed, saying alhamdulillah, a lot of tahleel, saying la ilaha illallah, a lot of takbir, saying Allah subhanahu, Allahu Akbar. These are all phrases that are so light and so easy. You can do it on your commute. You can do it by yourself. You can do it anywhere that you are. Making sure that you remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala much. And this is something that anybody can do. And then the last thing that I'll share, and there's more that can be shared, but the general rule is if it's good to be done, then it is better to do it in Dhul Hijjah. If it's good to be done, it's beloved to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, do as much of it in Dhul Hijjah as you possibly can. The last thing is sharing goodness, sharing it with others, making sure that you're somebody who is spreading goodness to those who you love, your family members, And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept from us and from you the good deeds that we do in the Hijjah Eid. Insha'Allah is going to be on Friday. Until then, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept from us and from you.